There were plenty of events around the Metroplex held outdoors today, including Juneteenth celebrations. And on top of mind was staying safe in all of the heat. Organizers of the events had several resources to make sure all of those outside were comfortable. Fox News' Amelia Jones is more on how folks prepared. Amelia. Hey Blake, I'm here in Arlington at the Levitt Pavilion for their Juneteenth celebrations. There was just a light rainstorm that passed over Arlington around 6 this evening. Other than that, though, it was the excessive heat that people were battling. As you mentioned, organizers, they had a variety of ways to make sure people stayed cool. celebrations kicked off in Arlington. It's so a time that we come together as a community, um, show our talents, show our arts, um, and bring family back together. This is the second year for the event at the Levitt Pavilion. Since it is an outdoor music venue, organizers were constantly checking the forecast. So we watch lightning, we watch wind speeds, and we're always communicating with our team and worrying about the safety of our uh, guest and then our equipment. Executive Director Latasha Tagle was paying close attention to the rising temperatures. We have free water. We have a cooling rags if anybody wants them. So we're just kind of watching. Arlington police and EMS crews were also at the event. The heat didn't keep people of all ages from enjoying the live music, food, and vendors from more than 40 black-owned businesses. Yes, bring it on. The hotter the better. Gene Gage just moved to Arlington from California. Yes, I can't look you. Yes. Thunder and lightning? Mm, not really, but I'll get used to it. Because this is not going to be home, so I have to get used to it. Dark clouds did create an overcast sky later in the evening. It's durable. It's, it's very doable now. Much better than when Calvin Hinton set up his vendor tent. It started off at about 100 degrees, or it felt like it was like 105. In Texas, you plan on something in June, you just have to plan for it to be hot. If rain does come through, Hinton says they have umbrellas and tents. Very unpredictable. Uh, but, I mean, the weather should hold out. We're going to be here to about 10 o'clock, so let's just pray for no rain right now. I think his prayer worked. The event, as he said, goes until 10 o'clock, and so far, nothing besides that light rain shower has come here to Arlington. The temperatures with the overcast, and now that the sun set, it does feel comfortable. It is still pretty muggy out here. I don't think that's bothering the at least 100 people, though, who are out on the lawn listening to the live band. We'll see what happens later tonight, though, and hopefully everyone can get home safely before rain comes.